Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. Guess what? Guess what? We've managed to find three episodes of Extreme Makeover Plastic Surgery Edition, my loves. This show has been scrubbed, absolutely scrubbed from the internet. And not in the same way as The Swan, where there's a few DVDs, like, lingering about in the nether regions of Amazon. This show has been literally scrubbed, 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 scrubbed from the internet. It is so difficult to find any information about it and any clips or anything like that. So, my loves, if you Google Extreme Makeover, for some reason the Home Edition is everywhere. It's like, buy the DVDs of the Home Edition, Home Edition, Extreme Makeover, Home Edition, yes. yes. Go. But Plastic Surgery Edition has been exceptionally difficult to find any of it. So the Plastic Surgery Edition actually had loads of episodes, lots and lots and lots, but I have only been able to find three with the help of you guys, especially Xenobats. Thank you, gorgeous, for being able to help me find them. If anyone out there watching this video knows where to get more Extreme Makeover Plastic Surgery Edition videos, please, 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 please DM them to me on Instagram, DM them to me on Twitter, leave them in the comments here. Email them to me via carrier pigeon if you must. So today we are going to be looking at, oh, what's it called? Extreme Makeover 2004, Series 3, Episode 4, Janine. <gasps> I'm quite excited. It's 28 minutes long, this video. So I think it's going to be probably quite the uh, extravaganza. Now, if if any of my comments are to go by, any of the comments that you guys have left on The Swan or Bridal Plasty are to go by, this one is also as equally um, predatory upon people, should we say, and very problematic in terms of the way that they discuss surgeries. I vaguely, vaguely, vaguely remember seeing like adverts for it on TV, but I do not remember actually sitting down and watching a full episode. So we're going to learn today, my lovelies. Let's pop in the oh, hanger. <gasps> Will they go in? Oh, first time. And let's watch Extreme Makeover Girls. Come on, Janine. What's the tea? Tonight, a punk rocker who's already... Oh my god! I have 30 piercings and stretching my ears for... Wait, 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 so much is happening! Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop! What, what's just happened? So Janine is like a punk rocker... Oh gosh, this is quite the thumbnail, isn't it? Sorry, my lovelies. Right, so Janine is an extreme person according to the, the, the voiceover. We just, we're literally like three seconds in. Okay, so she's a punk rocker. She's got 30 piercings. She's got gorgeous red hair. She is an alternative queen, everybody. Oh, I can already feel what's going to happen, can't you? Oh gosh, 2002 to 2004 was not kind to the alternative folk. All right, are we ready to get... Our pitchforks ready, girls. I have 30 piercings and stretching my ears for 10 years. Wants to go mainstream. Mainstream? If I look normal, then, you know, people might notice other things. So the extreme team gives her a make under. Oh, 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 can we just say already, like, welcome back, hideous grey bikini from the swan and every other show it seems to be about makeovers. What she just said there, if I look normal, people might notice other things about me. How frustrating does that sound as now an alternative person when literally like the idea of like dyeing your hair fun colors is so mainstream now like you can literally go on tiktok and just see thousands of videos of people doing their hair all sorts of rainbow exciting colors all sorts of piercings all sorts of body modifications and tattoos i must admit like it must have been really difficult to be alternative before the time of the internet because Sometimes you really would be like the freak of the village, wouldn't you? How ugh, unex I mean, even I was on the internet in 2009, like when I first started getting into alternative culture around 2006 to 2009, I was the freak of the village and I lived in a city, a pretty open minded city, Brighton, UK. And look who oh. joins the extreme team famed designer Betsy Johnson. Oh, a dramatic Betsy journey from gothic. Don't, don't cry, sweetie. You're going to be okay. To gorgeous. She's hot. It's amazing. And wait till you see what happened. What was that strange Yuna style haircut then that they just sort of like plopped on her there? Oh my goodness. Is this going to be like alarming? Am I going to be alarmed and shocked? <gasps> Let's see. Gosh, I need a bit of beverage first though. Wow, look at this digital camera. Look at that. My goodness. Blast from the past, girls. Happens to her boyfriend. Let's go her get boyfriend. Bill. From our man in black. <laughs> This is the first and the best makeover on television. You guys are oh. the best. <laughs> the first Extreme makeover, makeover on television. Wow, you look wow. fantastic. Wow, well, you look beautiful. Man, I'm gonna give you credit. Ah, Four pixels. Brand, brand, brand. What is yeah. this? Push it in, baby. Watch the flashing light. I'm here to introduce you to a rock star. Oh. 
Oh my God, the swan really wasn't the first, was it? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Those titles are something else. What's with everyone coming in and being like, yes, my farts don't smell. Yes, I'm going to give you a brow lift. Wow. Hors d'oeuvre. Oh, it's like watching, you know, like a telenovela, like a uh, title sequence. Oh, it's a lot, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Okay, come on, Extreme Mokova. Blum, blum. Charles Bangert. Howard Schultz. <gasps> but first, a woman oh, yes. who wants a make under. Oh. I've been different a make -under? all my life. Oh, this it's not Mary Boyd. If people are gonna judge me, I want people to judge me on my terms. So look at my hair, not at my chest. Look at my ears, not at the hair on my chin. Meet Janine Maddox, 30 years old of Louisville, Kentucky. She wow. already looks extreme and now just wants to I think to she looks normal. fun. My Excellent. mother freaked out the first time she saw what I did to my hair. She, uh, she went this. crazy. She oh chased her around the house. Chased me around with scissors and was like... Did you see those 90s eyebrows? Literally just like McDonald's arches? No hair, and all of it's going. And that's what aggravates me the most, I think, when we go out. People look at her like, you know, she's some crazy person or some freak because she's totally the opposite. Oh my God. That's what aggravates me when we go out because she's treated like a freak. There was actually a story I heard about Extreme Makeover in which uh, the, the family are like coerced to say quite dramatic things about the person receiving the makeover. And um, there was a situation in which, uh, well, it's a very sad situation in which one of the contestants' sis sisters, I think it was a sister, um, ended up taking their own life because of the things that they had said that was about to be put on television. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. This was really the wild, wild west of reality TV. Like, nothing was out of bounds. They could treat you however they wanted to make sure they get their ratings. But, oh gosh, I hope Janine doesn't give away everything that makes her, her. We're night and day with our appearance. My sister Not is really. a very beautiful girl, and I don't want my so looking like her. <laughs> if I look normal, then, you know, people might notice other oh. things, so... Oh. It's oh, I love a Septon Pearson. Oh, Janine. I'm sorry. No. Janine craves a normal life and a good job, craves. but her looks get in the way. I do Not aspire anymore. to do better, but ultimately I'm kind of stuck working factories because they don't question your appearance as long as you show up for work every day. Once you get to know her, she's the most reliable person you can have, her perfect supervisor. attendance, zero defects. Janine's about the best operator we have. Exactly. In business, goth and 30 body piercings are not your dress for success. I'm getting older and I need... Ooh, I hate where this is going. Bish, I'm CEO of the gothic business. Do you see my piercings? Do you see how well I am doing? Do you see how well my viewers are doing? You are all out here thriving and surviving with your body modifications and alternative lifestyles. How archaic is this? We are really getting a snapshot lens of history here about being like, ha ha ha, you're a gothic woman, you can't get employed, ha ha ha. Disgusting. Oh, I hate it. Oh, my skin is crawling, girls. To do things that are better for myself, even better my life. No such thing you as getting older. You really can't do that. Look in the way I do. Mind. In order for me to have my hair normal again, I'm probably going to have to cut it from like about here. As far as my ears, well, I've been stretching them for about five years now. I just used larger jewelry or weights to I bet my this. Down. I bet this back in the day, people watching this in their living rooms in, I don't know, Tennessee or wherever it is, they would have been like, Oh my God, a stretched ear like, uh. like, can you imagine? Can you imagine the outrage that little Barbara would have felt at this, like back in the day? It wild. In order to... Uh, We've come a long way, but my goodness. Main problem is uh, my chest. This breast, Your chest? B and D, and this one only an A. Ooh. I smashed my nose when I was five. It's kind of flat and wide. Janine's boyfriend, Billy, isn't especially mainstream oh. either. Me and oh, good. Janine met about three years ago. And I thought he was wearing a wig. We ended up hanging out. I guess we've been hanging out ever since. Don't kill oh, yourself. interesting. He's all about... Oh, I love, I love alternative people. I love alternative people. Did, did, did she just say he's all about cartoons? I bet that's anime. But like back in the day, they were like, no, our audience won't know what anime is. You have to say cartoons. Different genre, sis. Kung Fu and... The whole stretching of the ears, definitely not my thing. 
I think oh. she's definitely ready to change her look. Um, it's difficult to say if that was a planted sentence or not, but the fact that he judged her and was like, stretched ears are not my thing. Maybe she's not into like this shaved curtain that you've got going on. Maybe shaved at the neck is not something that she's into. Gosh, it's nearly 20 years ago and I still get riled up about it. Okay, come on. Janine's journey to normalcy begins at a punk rock Look how cool they are. Where we enlisted oh, her boyfriend, them. Billy, to surprise her. Can everybody quiet down, please? Can I have everybody's attention, please? Oh, Cybergoth, yes. I'm going to dedicate this next song to my girlfriend, Janine. Yeah, Janine! Ooh! You are going to oh, be stunning. on Extreme Makeover. <laughs> Janine tries to play it goth cool, hiding goth her true cool. emotions. What do you mean? I'm in shock and embarrassed and I'm freaking out. Everything is just surreal. Oh, I love those little V fringes. I love them so much. They used to be these two absolute style icons on MySpace back in the day. If you're in the gothic community, you might know them. They were called Psycho and Zero, and they had the most amazing fringes and hair, and they look so cool. Oh, this is giving me such like nostalgia feels. <laughs> Her world is about to change from the mosh pit to the lap of luxury. Wow, luxury. that car's the bomb. Thank you. I didn't oh. think in a million years I would ever, like, come out to California, let alone sit in a Rolls Royce. Wow. This is really awesome. I was taken home from the hospital when I was born in a Rolls Royce. Isn't that interesting? The new makeover mansion... Oh, yeah. ...is <gasps> about 180 from goth. Next, Sam What's this gives like a one eight makeover goth, to Janine's goth. boyfriend. Oh. And she has no idea. The most fun part of the whole Wait, thing. Wait, what? Wait, so he gets like a makeover as well? So this is like a couple situation, like a two for one makeover situation. They just kind of like pulled on his stomach as if they were going to like slim him down. So I, this is different to what I expected. They see each other for the first time. I was totally blown away. At the big reveal. Big reveal? This is the Sunset Strip, home to punk Sunset. rock. And not oh. far from there... God, Beverly they're really Hills, pushing this, aren't they? Home to the world's top plastic surgeons, like Dr. Garth Fisher. Wow, Today, they're like, all the chaos, and all extreme the lovely cross paths. Oh my God, what is the this storyline? I'm afraid of is that I'll look my age and I'll look too conservative and I don't want to go from one extreme to the next. Hello, Janine. Hi. Dr. Garth Fisher, how are you? Those ears are very interesting. I've never seen anything like that. And just to figure out that and make them look never better. seen stretched ears. Yeah, these are very large earrings, huh? Yeah, it's three quarters of an inch. Probably I've never spooked. seen anything quite like that before. Not what, a stretched ear? Way? No. The complicated repair will be a first for Dr. Fisher. Struggle to believe that. your little finger through there. Yeah. <laughs> OK, <laughs> what stop, I'm going to do is try to close these up and make your ears look, you know, nice. The biggest risk with this is the blood supply could be compromised and you could lose a piece of your earlobe, but mm. I think we can definitely help you. Okay. I think this is quite okay. common now, isn't All it, right. for people who've and had extremely stretched ears? 34B. And what size do you want to be? Um, either a solid C or a small D. Like most women, Janine's breasts are asymmetrical. And this okay. side is substantially larger. You know, it's hard to say, about 50 cc's or so. I can never make them exactly the same. Yeah. And, um, as long as they've... They look normal. They'll look good. They'll look, good. They'll look very natural, I think, and I think you'll have a great result. Okay, okay yeah. Janine yeah. is a tough case. One one part of that case I've never done before, and I just have to, you know, put some thought into it and planning. Okay, I think that this is the nicest surgeon that we have seen in any of these shows so far. So anyone that comes into my comments and is like, yeah, but they've asked to go on the show, they can't expect to be treated like that by the surgeons, uh, on the swan or bridal plastic. Look how well that bedside manner was. Look how well he was training, uh, talking to his client there about working with her as opposed to on her. She was like, I want to look normal. I want this, you know, very, I want this to happen. I, w I would like to go from this to this. And he was like, we can give you very natural results. The, the demeanor, completely different. You have to be on my side here, guys. Surely, you must see. I was fully expected to be a bit like, <gasps> about what they're going to suggest, but I kind of feel quite soft to this surgeon. This is like something that I would, I would love coming into a consultation like that. That would make me feeling really positive about my decision. Uh, and her nose is a difficult nose. It's going to be a completely different person. And yeah, it's going to be weird. Wow, look but at that computer. <gasps> Let's go back and look at that. Look person. at that yeah, computer. Weird, but I think I'll that CRT monitor from 1842. Take more time for me to get used to than other people. Everybody else will be excited about. Wow. The morning of Janine's surgery, the young woman tries to play it very cool. 
Okay. I'm not all that nervous about the surgery. It's going to be a good experience. And okay. Dr. Okay. Fisher said he was devising a plan for a. Oh, this is ominous, isn't lobes, it? So take away all we'll the piercings, girl. What he does. <laughs> She's got Smile a in the mirror. problem, and uh, it's just her earlobes, but, uh, you know, those are important, and, and there's some little landmines. Uh, What's this? Such... What's this? It's zooming in a dark room to show the doctor is working, girls, Dr. Frankenstein. What? That was very strange. At Dr. Fisher's, Janine begins to Dr. lose it. <gasps> I'm a bit nervous. Well, of course. Lose it. That's a bit much. A little overwhelming. Yeah, surgery is overwhelming. So is she having all of these procedures done at once, I'm guessing, then? So she's having a nose, her chest, and her ears done so far. That's, that's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting here. While there's still quite a lot of surgery to have in one day, it's none of this, like, 18 liposuctions. Hmm. Oh, don't cry. You're gonna be fine. Don't you worry, you'll be okay. It's a good day. This is like, you know, this is like a holiday. I'm saying he's goodbye to the extreme subculture nice. look and hello to a cuter me. Wait, wait, wait. What was all that? And Why was he drawing on your legs? Hang on. Subculture look and hello What's to he doing? Is he giving her liposuction? We didn't hear a consultation about that. Mm, okay. My mind is changing slightly as we go along because this is still a lot of work to have in one day. Yes. And Janine's make under? Underway. Oh, First, okay. Dr. Fisher must balance her uneven breasts. You're gonna put a 325 cc smooth mentor saline. Oh, yeah, round circle the breasts. We don't know the what a breast is. Thighs, tummy, oh, okay. And back is lipoed away. We're taking a significant amount of fat for her. And the tip of Janine's nose needs an uplift without compromising her Italian pedigree. Your surgery on her nose is gonna oh. be. Oh! Did you hear that? Without compromising her Italian pedigree. So are they taking into consideration that she still wants to have a link to her heritage? That is quite on you. We haven't heard that at all anywhere in any of these shows so far. Because she has very thick skin and she's had multiple fractures and trauma. Thick skin. And but the real challenge oh with Janine, her ears. This is serious surgery, this earlobe surgery. Is it? You can see what kind of opening she has here. The lower lobe's blood supply must be maintained. And I definitely have to cut out the opening, and then I have to plan a way to suture it back where I still maintain the blood supply. Suddenly, concern. But I don't like how that looks. <gasps> I think this is going to make it worse. The ear is losing blood profusely. Hold that. Hold this. Give me a pickup, please. But Dr. Fisher skillfully staunches and closes. There you go. We devised some flaps to bring the earlobe back together flaps. and preserve the blood supply, which was flaps. the most important issue. I think they look nice and her problem's been solved. I I'll literally, I can't even see what that is. That's so pixelated. I'm just like, okay, so she's got an earlobe stretch, but on the other side, it's just like, blamange, everybody, blamange. Well, I hope that this works out because now I feel like getting your ear stitched up now is, it's not like hugely common, but it doesn't, I don't feel like it's like an extreme surgery that this, this surgeon is, is kind of leading us to believe that it is. But like, obviously when it comes to blood flow and things, that is like a hugely important thing to consider. So, oh. Ear. A make on in just breast hours. And, ears. and in one week, it's, a lot of it's bandages off. The most interesting part of your surgery was your Gosh. earlobes. No, 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 no shots of like recovery there. Just straight back into the doctor's office a week later. Okay, okay. Extreme makeover. Okay. This was Janine's ear a week ago. This is her <gasps> ear now. I think they turned out really nice now that I'm looking at them. Here's where you were before, and of course we cut a piece of this out and rotated a flap up. It'll be weird not to be able to put my finger through it, but. <laughs> so now let's see your nose. Here you go. Oh, yeah. I like it. It looks cool. Oh Thank gosh. you for fixing it. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank Thank gosh, you this is so like... <laughs> like my my profile <gasps> before was horrible. Wow. 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 That is incredible work. Wow. We haven't even seen it fully healed. That is... That is... What a beautiful artiste that surgeon is. Oh, my goodness. This is going in such a different direction than I thought this video was going, going to go. I thought it was going to be dramatic, over the top, really quite uncomfortable to watch. But so far, that's actually quite pleasant. Horrible. And now it's... It looks good. Janine's old nose from rocker to Romanesque. I've got a home run out of Romanesque. This one. How's your breast? They're awesome. <laughs> what What have you Busy. noticed that you like the most about Busy. them? They're perfect. They're the same size. All so far, Janine keeps her feelings under wraps. Which I was kind of worried about, but they look... Dr. Fisher is about to remove more bandages. They look 
beautiful. Oh. They look great. Okay. Just have to keep them out of sunlight, stay away from nude beaches right now. But, uh, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Janine now shows Dr. Fisher something else. Tell me what you're thinking. You're Her true I emotions. Think I think you're wonderful too. Oh my gosh. So nice. I'm really glad that we could help you. Really, really glad. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference between this doctor and Dr. Hayworth when he was literally just like, oh, it's sad. You know, everybody cries. This doctor, Dr. Fisher, is being exactly every single thing that I would want from seeing a surgeon and getting a consultation. He's really reassured Janine every single step of the way. And it has, it really sounds like he actually cares for her well-being. I'm fully gagged, fully gagged. This is, this is actually quite lovely to witness. Dr. Fisher's definitely my hero. He's my favorite person. <laughs> no offense, Bill. <laughs> and speaking of Janine's boyfriend. Oh yes, come on girl. Oh, we a big surprise for her. Here's Sam. Janine has no idea Bill is here for two weeks for a secret mini extreme makeover. And she mini has no extreme idea makeover. the results that are in store for her when she gets home. Oh, you can tell it's very early 2000s, can't you? When they're just like, it's an extreme lady on the go. It's a scandal, girls. With all the like dramatic, slightly rotated video shots. It's a lot, isn't it, girls? Go get Bill. Bill Butler? Yes. Welcome to Los Angeles. Bill, you know you're getting a make under a little bit here, and I know you want to retain some of your identity, as does Janine. But I need to yes. know if you're willing to go a little bit mainstream, just to clean up a little bit, be a little handsome fashion guy. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm up for about anything. Hey, Janine, you have a whole lot more to worry about than cutting off your dreads, because guess who's not in Kentucky anymore? Okay. Uh, our first story tonight, Janine, who used costumes and makeup to hide Costume. her secret self. Costume. Including an embarrassing condition that plagues many women. I oh, kept okay. The fact that I had hair on my face hidden. Mm. You know, I always kept it plucked. You couldn't, so no one could tell. I was the only one that really knew. You're just the person I've been waiting to see. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm excited you're here. Oh, who is this She's person? She's adorable. I don't want her to have to a have Harvard all of this graduate. facial hair and have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis. It oh, she's just going to so do laser. It's devastating to have this horrible chin hair or mustache hair. It is very traumatic. It's, yeah, it's like I hated, hated it. Mm. The good news is that you're here Can in the relate. time of lasers. Is it um, going to burn my skin any year? Beauty is not for sissies. <laughs> <laughs> it has been said. <laughs> Wow, okay, that's quite a soundbite, isn't it? Beauty is not for sissies. She is actually onto something there. Beauty, while it's not necessarily pain, it certainly isn't for the weak-hearted, is it? Let's be honest. My goodness, if some of the men, if some of the like straight cis het men in this world like underwent what some of us beautiful women have to go through in order to like feel glamorous and be like nice, that they, that some of those men, they could be sissies. <laughs> said that the road to beauty is paved with pain. <laughs> Every God. time you have laser hair removal, some of the hair follicles are <gasps> permanently destroyed. That's, she will experience yeah, some regrowth over the next four weeks, and she will be between four and eight treatments to completely remove the hair in this area. The thing is as well is that like, although like, I feel like lots of people get laser and they're just like, it's just, it's advertisers, it's just like, oh, just get laser, just get laser. Yeah, just get some laser. It is actually extremely painful to get laser done. So when they say it feels like a rubber band going against your skin, it does. And a good practitioner makes the big difference. So for example, I've had my face lasered. It's still not completely where I want it to be. And it's, I've been having it for years now, girls. But it's just like, you can feel it, like shoot down the hair follicle to the inside of your skin and around the mouth. <gasps> you have to clench and you have to go and you have to really power through it. So it's not like simple at all. And it is something that you must consider. But like, I don't know, she's kind of painting it a little bit just like, where are we going to have laser and it's all going to be lovely. Whereas like, mm, not quite the case. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. That looks we won't awesome. be able to tell now. Yeah. We need months, months it's later. a little bit of stubble, which she said will go away in a few days. But as soon as that's gone, it's going to be so sweet. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. In oh. another part of L.A., unbeknownst to Janine, her boyfriend Billy is getting a mini makeover. You've got at the powerhouse to take gym? this weight off. Obviously, oh. we want to take some of this off. I'm going to give you a little more definition oh, wait, in your what? chest. Yeah, and then your arms are going to put a little more definition in a line here. You've got two weeks, so you can look spectacular. Two the weeks. The lovely Ms. Janine. Two weeks. Check Billy out just one week later. On the waist. You lost 10 inches in eight days. <laughs> That's awesome. 10 in 
inches. What? So like, what? 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 Hang on. What are you? What? What? This has all been a bit like swift, isn't it? It's like, so they've just pointed at his muscles and gone, "We're gonna put the line here. Yeah, line, yes, yeah, line." Like we've had no like idea about what the workout routine is, what the diet is, none of that. Just like here he is. Ten days later, off we go, girls. That's great. Hey. Hey, Bill, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? We give him a really, really beautiful smile. Dentist. I think we'll <gasps> hit it out of the park on him. Your upper teeth are really rotated. Either we can oh. do braces, and that's going to take about two to two and a half years, or I can do porcelain veneers and make your teeth perfect right now. Sorry, sorry, sir. I don't think braces and veneers are interchangeable at all. There is no quick fixes to great teeth. In fact, there is no real quick fix to anything in life that won't give you problems later. Um, veneers are very expensive. And if you don't have the funds to keep maintaining your veneers, you know, every five to ten years, then you're going to end up with, like, little stubbly teeth that, like, don't function. I can't believe he suggested, oh, we're just going to do veneers now and we'll get them, we'll get it fixed now to some, to, like, that doesn't sit right with me. Like, brace, the best kind of teeth you can have is your own teeth. Veneers are not, they're not a replacement for great teeth. Mm. Um, I think I might have to go with the veneer. Instead of years, Billy gets a perfect smile almost instantly. But smile. that's not correct. Wow, that is unbelievable. They're like perfect. Pretty They're much not perfect. Wow. You're, you're Janine not, is but, pretty surprised well, because she has no idea what's going on. The unsuspecting Janine. His teeth were a great colour beforehand. Like if they'd just been tightened up with braces, he would have had like a great smile for years to come. I feel a little bit weird about just how easy and simple they made that sound. It was just like, oh, he's come in and we've given him veneers. Done. Like veneers in a dentist chair can take like 16 hours and it can be extremely painful as well to undergo. That was completely glossed over. No side effects, no nothing. Oh. Ian has been in touch with Billy on her cell. When I talk to Jane on the cell. phone, I have to make up where I'm at every time I talk to her. Are you outside? Yeah, I just decided to go down by the riverfront. He seemed nervous. I don't, I don't know what that was all about. Is it hot, real hot though? Yeah, humid. Well, we have good weather here, so. Mm. Lucky you. The most fun part of the whole thing is the surprise that Janine's gonna have. When I show up, she had no idea that any of this was going on. Oh my god! And she's like a couple's makeover Sam situation. Wants to take Janine from oh wow! To no, so no. He takes her here. I, I called it. all the way over to New York for a friend of mine to see if she would come over here and help me transform your fashion, Betsy Johnson. Betsy, will you come over here? <laughs> Betsy Johnson, come on, girl. Oh, <laughs> big choice, huh, Sam? Wow, those are quite some hair extensions, oh, aren't they? What do you think of Janine? Did we pick a good one for you? Uh, she's my soul Aww. sister. When I first saw Janine. I love, I absolutely adore a loopy designer. Absolutely love them. These people are like creatively unhinged in the best possible way and I just love them. Loopy designers, you are keeping the fabric of society together and also just wild. I knew that she had an amazing sense of fashion and style. Exactly. No girl looks like that who hasn't really worked it. I think I want to give Janine looks that invite people into her self. Oh, I don't world. know about all these. Prettier, softer, more approachable looks. No. Uh, I never thought that I would ever wear any color besides black. But yes, just what's weirder. Oh. You can't go wrong with black clothing. I, you would never catch me in a mustard yellow anything. Oh, absolutely not. I actually like all these different girly dresses, and I thought that I looked really good in them. Janine, you're I the mean, luckiest girl nice. in the world because she's flying black. home right now to design your own one-of-a-kind reveal dress. <gasps> I think I know Janine now, and I am going to find you something so special. I would love find. I thought you were making. Dress. So exciting. So let me surprise you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sam's top secret mini mission continues. Bill, we're at Borelli Salon here in Beverly Hills with our friend Steve Lococo. Oh, is He's he going to take away all his style? Dashing and handsome. We're going to get rid of all this all one length hair. Why? Big sharp line that's going to bring out those good looking eyes of his. We're also going to get rid of the solid black color. Why? And we'll highlight it just a little bit. We chose this chocolate brown suit in a three-button style because Bill's long enough in the body to carry the length of the three-button jacket. This bright blue shirt underneath gives Bill a pop of color, and a couple of the colors in that tie may just complement a certain someone's reveal dress. Now for Janine's dread. They're making them so boring and ordinary. There's no, like, level of excitement still. There's no, like, 
you know, like quirk of essence of je ne sais quoi about it. It's just like, you're getting a blue shirt. You're getting a three button brown suit. You're gonna have brown highlights in your brown hair. Brown. Not every single piece of style has to be brown, everybody say, no. Janine, today is the day. 12 long years okay, for you to grow out this hair, 12 years to get attached to it, and about 10 minutes to get rid of it. <gasps> I'm gonna hold your hand, and we're gonna do this. This is Janine's gonna be a lot. dilemma. On the one hand, she wants change. On the other, she clings to the security of her past. Oh. One, two, <gasps> three. <laughs> oh my gosh. That. Let's continue. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have a heart attack. No, you're not. More than her hair is being cut. I'm like shaking. <laughs> Janine is removing the protective colors that hid her true feelings and vulnerability. Protective it's kind of like security blanket What's or whatever. What's she talking about? And, um, that's gonna be gone, and it's. Don't worry, Janine. It's not just you. Everybody feels a, a level of um, life security blanket with my hair. If someone, if I went to a salon and they were like, "We're gonna give you a pixie cut," I'd be like, "Oh." No! Even though I know that pixie cuts look gorgeous, my like... <laughs> the idea of someone cutting off my hair, absolutely not. Goodbye. It's really weird. <laughs> we have a lot of magic to perform today with Kim Vo and with Marianne from BTV Salon. We've saved as much as we could, Sam, and it's just there's nothing left to really save in here. Everybody loses 80 to 200 hairs a day, and what has happened is it's entangled around these dreads, and basically she's holding on to 12 years worth of fallen hair. There's also wow. a lot of damage from the bleaching and the overprocessing and the coloring. So we need to get rid of most of this hair. Oh, red for Phil. How are your nerves about now? I'm very extremely nervous. I have a million things going through my head, so I <gasps> can't really describe it. Hey, this is I a big moment for you. I know you're trying really hard to keep your composure. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a whole new world when you look in the mirror again. You ready for this? Uh huh. Oh, your hair's really we're damaged. Gonna so we're gonna your base and give it a rich color. Bleach it. And no. We're gonna have some surprising a highlights. High How about color? that? Okay. Surprising <laughs> highlights. Oh, your hair's really damaged. Here's some more highlights. For draining 12 years of hair coloring. Well, we put a sulfur chemical on in the beginning, and what that does is it shrinks the molecule, the red molecules, anything artificial, it shrinks, and the second process we put on takes it away. So he is talking about a colour remover. Now, I love the fact that he has mentioned that, because I swear you don't hear lots of people talking about colour removers anymore on, like, shows or hairdressing things or anything like that. It's very, like, the secret to good hair is a good colour remover if you want to change up your colour, girls and guys and non-binary pals. This is what's happening. It's literally happening before our eyes. Wow. You have great hair, Janine. It's thick and you have a lot of body, some natural wave to it. You don't know what you've been missing for the last 12 years. Yeah, but she likes her this hair. This is what Janine is used to wearing. Black, black, with white, white. foundation. Darcy, right. she used to give me like a kabuki goth story. Janine, I want to teach you to look pretty. I want to teach you to use soft pastel colors. Excuse me. I think looking pretty is gothic. Soft pastel colors. If they're done, if you're a pastel goth queen, absolutely go for it. But do you know, I really hate that idea that like the only pretty things in the world are what we say is pretty. And it's by someone who's like very, very, very narrow minded about what pretty is. Soft and pastel is not always pretty. It can be vibrant. It can be extreme. It can be sh shocking, stunning and stunting. Or so can like black eyeshadow. Are you going to tell me that I don't look pretty right now with my black eyeshadow? Ludicrous. Colors. You can open your eyes. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh no, she's got a bit of a Karen hairstyle. Wow. Oh, wow. We're not allowed to see, girls. Yeah. <laughs> the magic of television. Next, Janine surprises everyone. Well, I'm slowly learning that she it's alright to be pretty. And Ooh. we surprised Janine. Just, two months okay. ago, Janine was goth. Two months. Tonight, she's all girl. Inside you and out, be a goth the girl. transformations all are amazing. Slowly learning to like myself little uh, concerned about what Bill's gonna think about it. And <gasps> Billy's waiting in the wings. Janine oh. has no idea he's had a mini makeover. She's oh kind of worried about what me particularly is gonna think, but I'm um, scared. I'm really scared. She looks Hollywood hot. I'm fine with that. You know? uh, feel like I'm um, hearts beating out of the chest. At Louisville's legendary Sealback Hotel, her pretty sister Erica doesn't know what to expect. Her pretty sister Erica. What are they trying to pull this like narrative of like the ugly stepsister girl? She's a goth. She's ugly. She's not girly. She's stomping. She's raging. Like what is all that? What is this narrative? Absolutely not. Give me a chunky boot, a fake black lash, and long black hair any day of the week, my loves. 
Ugh, ludicrous. I've never ever seen her any different than the way she was. So well, that's her. Normal is going to be a shock. Normal. Ugh. And Awful. shocked is what everyone is about to be. Yes. This is quite a reveal, isn't it? Oh. I I've seen her come out, but I'm quite it. emotional myself, actually. <gasps> Can we just pause and say, what a lovely colour this dress is. This, like, deep Bordeaux wine colour. Absolutely stunning. She... I'm not sure about the hairstyle. It is a little bit you know Final Fantasy X too. But doesn't she look completely different? This is, in fact, an extreme makeover. I can 100% say that. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Quite golf smack, girls. The back before they, everybody would look at her and think that she was some kind of freak, and now she's oh, beautiful. I, do, I wish she it's had amazing. a wing liner or something, something alternative. I think that she'll think it's cool. Wow. If I get the same. <gasps> she does look a little bit older than than she did before, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's something about these makeover shows that that makes people look older, especially these older ones. Maybe maybe if makeover shows existed now, maybe they wouldn't be quite the same. But this. She looks like when she when we looked at her at the beginning, I wouldn't have guessed her age at 30. Here I can be like, I think you're 30. And I don't like that because I'm 32 and I'd like to think that I don't look 32. Just goes to show you, style really does give a certain mystique about a woman, doesn't it? <laughs> if I get the same kind of attention that she does. Oh, it's not all She's for attention hot. though, surely. She's really pretty. She's always been beautiful to me, but now she's just even more beautiful. I mean, she could be a model. <laughs> what oh, a make wow, what a under. For me, I don't think it was so much of um, an external makeover as it was for an internal one. Are you From sure? extreme to exquisite. Oh, she does look completely different. Wow. Janine's ears were reconstructed. She received lipo of her waist and thighs. Her nose was reshaped and realigned. The swan goes. Implants brought her breasts to a symmetrical size C. She had laser hair removal and zoom whitening. To most people, Janine now looks normal. To her far out friends. Oh my God, they've turned her into a freak. Oh! No. <laughs> I love it. Yes, you are an icon lady with the red hair and the V fringe. Icon, icon, icon. It's time okay, for it's time Billy's Billy. reveal. And Janine only knows her goth boyfriend has a surprise for her. The last time Janine oh saw Billy, he looked like this. Amazing. Watch her when she sees him Personality now. and stuff. Billy went to hunk from hunk. I do not agree. Oh. I was totally blown away. And who cares about me? Look, Bill has teeth. <laughs> When I first went out there, I didn't even recognize who she was. So I just picked the, the strange looking one. The one that I didn't recognize. I am gobsmacked. This couple has aged. He looks like he's become Nosferatu. Why? 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 This couple looks like mid to late 40s, not like early 30s. This is, this is, a, this is, this is definitely a lot. They have taken away everything that makes them them and given them these like cookie cutter ideas of what beauty is. And I, I, I was sort of on board, but now I'm not girls. I'm really not. Wow. What? Janine and Billy, made under, made for each other. <laughs> Think that was a transformation? Thanks, Ken. Well, it has now been more than six <gasps> weeks since Janine Wait, Maddox returned what? to Louisville after her extreme makeover this in California. And so oh. millions of viewers nationwide tuned into ABC to see how she lost her long red dreadlocks and her pretty body piercings. WHAS 11's Carrie Richardson watched with Janine's friends who were saying <gasps> the changes are just skin deep. Journey from Gothic to By now, most of Janine Maddox's friends are used to her new looks. I knew that probably whatever she changed wasn't going to change the kind of person that she was. So oh, so this is a catch-up. Oh, brilliant. 
but they've never seen the whole ordeal played out on national television. There's going to be a lot of crying and they like drama. <laughs> Friends and co-workers crowded into Jillian's to watch their friend's extreme makeover. I knew that from the get-go, that it was going to be fun, <laughs> and it has been. I like her new nose. It really gives a lot of definition to her face. I think she looks gorgeous. Oh, you know, I mean, they, icon. The plastic surgeons did an excellent job. You are a stunning woman. Boyfriend Bill Butler got a mini makeover courtesy of the show, a wow. secret even Janine didn't know until her reveal. Not a whole lot of people knew I was gone. So what I like what she's done with her makeup here has made her look infinitely younger than when they just did her her makeup in the the reveal thing that they just did. She looks young here. I don't know what it is about these these stylists that are on TV. They make everyone look older. She looks so young and fresh faced here and stunning. Oh my goodness! I would like to see her with her septum ring again, though. I must admit. I came back. There was only about two or three people that even knew I was gone, let alone changed. Secretly so going out, away for like, what surgery. Are you? <laughs> The consensus, friends are tickled with Janine's new look. Tickled. Even happier that she's satisfied. I was impressed. I didn't recognize her at the reveal. They were like, go to her. I was like, where is she? Oh she's my God. She's a little bit more confident, a lot happier, but for the most part, she's still the same Janine. You know, still does all the same things that she used to do before. It hasn't really changed her life. I wonder if she's much. changed oh anymore God, now. Turned her into a freak. <laughs> yes! Well, Melissa Lacey admits her friend looks great. I kind of miss the dreadlocks, you know, but... Yeah! But as long as she's happy, you know, that's really all. Icon I Melissa. Even after the extreme makeover, some say they wouldn't be surprised to see a return to Janine's roots. Yes, Whenever of course. it's okay for her to be done with all this, she'll probably... She might try and grow them back. Carrie maybe. Richardson, WHAS 11 News. The hair, well, maybe not a return to dreadlocks, but Janine says once she gets an okay from ABC, she would like to darken her hair a little <gasps> more so it is closer to its natural brown color. Wait, what? So was she under like uh, an NDA or something? Like, no, you can't talk about it. You can't change anything. No. How weird. All oh, television fingers in all the pies, girls. Well, my lovelies, it's time for me to push away my laptop there and just sort of like address what we've just seen. That last bit was really quite surprising, really quite something. I did not expect to see like 17 different news articles and newscasting presentations about her experience. Wow. Okay, so let's let's go over a few things that we've seen. So the surgeon, Dr. Fisher, that was in this show uh, for Janine, what a, a kind, kindly soul who performed excellent work, who really understood that their client was there to be worked with as opposed to worked on. That was a lovely thing to see. I must admit, though, the styling on all these shows, they really don't hold up, do they? Like, what was this strange hairstyle that they gave um, They gave Janine? I mean, it's very specific, and it is kind of anime, I suppose, at some, some sort of, like, semblance. And it's not the hairstyle that I would have given her. But then again, in 2002, I was 13, so, you know, I couldn't do any of that. No, I must admit, I'm, like, fully, fully really quite, like, surprised at the level, the high level of work that Dr. Fisher did with um, Janine's nose. That was a great outcome, absolutely stunning outcome that I feel like, I feel like the, 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 the reveal of like the surgery work in this show was really well received. I don't feel weird having watched this show. I certainly don't feel like pressured or like upset apart from maybe the whole situation around the veneers, that uh, the veneers for Janine's boyfriend. I feel like that was a bit like of a weird thing to do. And also the styling, as I said earlier, the styling of making everybody look like old people. Everybody wants to like age them 28 years. That's kind of a bit weird. Anyway, my loves, I guess it's time for the Patreons. And you can see yourselves all on the screen right here, my lovelies. Thank you so much for the support. If you want to join in the Patreons, make sure you check the link in the description box below. I will be closing my YouTube channel membership soon because the system is just broken. They take a massive percentage and it just doesn't work. It's so uneasy to use. So if you would like to support me and become a member of this channel, please check out the Patreon link in the description box below. Thank you, thank you, thank you, gorgeous. And I want to say a massive hello and welcome to Ella Rock, Kiki Draycott, Alicia Johnson, Aubrey Lotz, Katie M. Price, Jen Martin, Jenny Smith, Sarah, Sharon Levy, David Johnson, Britt Taylor Jones, Steph Utek, That Helen, Aquien, Alexander Shaw, Sambus, Astral Clock Tower Studios, and Silver Tulip. Thank you so much for hopping over from channel memberships over to Patreon, and also thank you everyone who is my new Patreon as well. Gorgeous people, gorgeous. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Sofa272. 
too. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays and I stream three nights a week. That's Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. And once again, I want to say a massive thank you and a huge shout out to my top tier Patreons and channel members, Erwin Fox, Stephanie Neachupski, Erin Conkle, Magusta Lagoose, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Dana Broderick, Moldy Apple, Orko Samoji, Jaro Pavlovsky, Jodia, Summer Neff, Shell Herman, Victoria Waldock, and ContraPoints. Thank you, thank you, thank you, gorgeous people, for your continued support. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave you on the note of, if you like something a little bit alternative about yourself, feature it. Don't let anyone dull your shine, and I will see you in the next video. Gorgeous.